Hey everybody, it's your Average Reviews here. I hope you're having a wonderful day today, or evening, depending on what time zone or time it is when you're watching this video. Today I've got the WK03, and the, I did that backwards, but it's okay, and the SC18. Uh, on the right is the Workos WK03, and on the left is the Sofern SC18. As you may have noticed, they are almost identical. The main difference being the knurling on the SC18 being straight lines up in, you know, um, I guess you would call that vertical. I don't know why my camera is struggling to focus right now, but you can see this does provide a very good grip, I will say. Um, but I do prefer the look and the less grippy crosshatch pattern. You can see the tail cap on this one matches, and the tail cap on this one does not, um, mainly because I've put the same tail cap on both. These are the magnetic tails, as you can see when I get one close to the other one, it repels because the, oh, it, unless you do it that way, the magnetic polarity is opposite, so they don't stick together. They are, for all intents and pur purpose, the same flashlight. So for the rest of the video, I will mainly be going over the WK03, but I do want to give you a quick rundown of both, some close-ups. Um, so the SC18, come on camera, SC18, hold on, let's lock that, has, like I said, different knurling. It has the USB-C port on the back, a pretty basic standard clip, and it runs off of a 18650 battery. The WK03, as I've already said, has this cross-hatch knurling, and it also runs off of an 18650, and it also has the USB-C port. So. I did do a few tests on this guy, um, mainly I did some temperature tests. I let the flashlight sit for 18, sorry, 5 minutes and I recorded the temperature and then I took the battery out and recorded the voltage. So my first test on turbo was a little bit strange. So I did it twice. I got 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 31 degrees Celsius. And when I took the battery out, it was at 3.94 volts. I then did the test on high. And after five minutes of running on high, I was at 90.4 degrees Fahrenheit and 32.4 degrees Celsius and the battery was at 4.08 volts. I did find that a little bit strange, so I ran the turbo test again because it was a little bit weird to me that the high test would have a higher temperature after five minutes. And on my second turbo test, for some reason, I did, by the way, charge the battery fully between. My second turbo test, I had 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 37.5 degrees Celsius and when I removed the battery and tested on my multimeter it read 4.07 volts so I think that would be a more accurate test I'm not really sure what I did wrong on that first one but my mistake I do have I believe in this flashlight let me just double check I do have the original Workos battery so all my tests were done on that original battery. I imagine the SC18 would be similar results. I haven't done the tests yet.
but the thing about this flashlight that I really like is that it is extremely cheap. It, it does have a moonlight, although the moonlight is kind of bright. And as you can see, uh, hold the, I'm holding it about one foot above the table. And the beam is kind of concentrated mostly into this small little area. It does, if you ha hold the power button while on, have a high, medium, and low. So let's see here. This would be low, medium, and high. I do think it is a great flashlight for walking, and it is affordable, or if you just want to grab one for around the house. Currently on Amazon, I'm looking at it. It is $26.99, and they have a 20% coupon you can apply or on AliExpress, it's currently $18.47 with the battery. And this is uh, US dollars, not Canadian. And I found the cheapest price on the Workos website, workos.com, for $14.99. And I believe, let me see, that is without the battery. With the battery, it is $16.99, so a little bit cheaper than the AliExpress price. Plus, they have a, they're currently doing their 11 11 deals where, let's see, you get free shipping uh, if you order more than $10, and they have a few coupons you can maybe find on here. And if you're a new, new buyer, I know they give you, I think, 10% off or something like that. Uh, the Sofern light, the Sofern SC18, without the battery is also $14.99 on Sofern's website, and with the battery it is $16.99, and I see directly on this page it has a 20%, let me switch these flashlights out because I am talking about the SC18 now, it has a 20% off button you can click on that page. So that's that's really nice. On Amazon it's like the Workos $26.99 with an additional 20% coupon. And on AliExpress it is $16.66 with with the battery. And without the battery it is $14.99. So I mean for the money you pay for this flashlight I definitely recommend picking one up, especially if you're looking for an affordable flashlight that is very bright. Uh, the SC18, you know, same thing. It's got the moonlight, maybe even brighter than the than the Workos. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I don't know why that would be. I might have, I think I have the Samsung cell in this one. Let me check. This one's even blinking low battery, strange. And it's got a low, medium, and a high. Let's see what battery's in here. I think it's a salvage battery I got from a laptop. Yeah, it, this would be a battery I got out of a, a laptop cell, or a laptop battery. That's one of the cells I removed. Um, so maybe it's, this battery is just capable of pushing more power. Anyways, I'll put a quick clip of me walking around with the Workos WK03 at night so you can get a general idea of what it looks like and besides that I hope you all have a great day
as you can see, it's definitely more than adequate for walking. Um, for the price of, you know, $15, $20, you really, I don't think, can beat this light. Um, I do highly recommend picking one up if you want a ch cheap, nice walking light, or even just around the house, the, uh, the moonlight mode, you know. It's not bright, you can't see me shining it right now on anything, except for that sign, because it's reflective. But, um, you know, everything else, you know, it's just right in front of you. It is only a cool white light, which kind of, you know, isn't my favorite, but uh, it is bright as hell um, for what you pay for. I mean, you definitely get your money's worth.